Well, NFL veteran Robert Quinn is accused of being behind the wheel in the video you're looking at right now. That's according to Somerville Police. The Ladson native is facing several charges, including third degree assault and battery, hit and run with property damage, and four counts of leaving the scene after a traffic incident. It all happened on Tuesday night, and police say Quinn turned himself in this morning and is now out on bond. A handful of neighbors spoke with our Meredith Blair about why they're frustrated with what happened in court. I'm not impressed. Not at all. I just don't like it at all. These are just two neighbors who had their parked cars hit Tuesday night. One of who says she was also assaulted by the driver Robert Quinn, both frustrated by the bond he was released on hours after turning himself in. I was hoping that he would be treated just like anybody else. It shouldn't matter that he played or plays in the NFL. Who cares? He puts his pants on one leg at a time, just like everybody else. They call his behavior on Tuesday night unexplainable and belligerent. He should be in jail and learn his lesson. I don't care if he is a famous guy or no, uh, no prior arrest or something like that. He could have killed someone. So would you consider this today a slap on the wrist? I wouldn't consider it a slap. I would consider it a pat. He wasn't slapped hard enough to be considered a slap, as far as I'm concerned. We were all slapped by what he did. As for what's next for Quinn, Somerville police tell me he will have a court date assigned to him. Reporting in Somerville, Meredith Blair, Live 5 News. Well, Quinn's bond is set as following $5,000 for a hit and run with someone in the vehicle, $232 rather for each of the four hit and runs, $155 for striking a highway fixture, and $1,087.50 for assault and battery in the third degree.